Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge faced by developers using the serverless framework with AWS Lambda. Our viewer has a question about how to properly reference one Lambda function from another within the serverless YML configuration. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To address the access denied exception you're encountering, we need to ensure that the IAM role associated with Lambda 1 has the necessary permissions to invoke Lambda 2. In your serverless.yml file, you can add the required permissions under the IAM role statement section. This allows Lambda 1 to invoke Lambda 2. Next, ensure that the resource ARN for Lambda 2 is correctly specified. You can reference the function directly using the serverless framework's built-in syntax. Finally, deploy your changes using the serverless framework. Run the command SLS deploy in your terminal to apply the updated permissions. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Currently, there is no shortcut to declare permissions for a Lambda function. You must specify permissions based on its ARN. Here's a working example in serverless.yml. Define your service, provider, and environment variables, including the function ARN. In the functions section, Lambda 1 invokes Lambda 2. You'll also define IAM permissions for the Lambda function. The resources section includes the IAM role and policies needed for invoking the function make sure to allow the Lambda invoke function action. In Handler.js, Lambda 1 uses the AWS SDK to invoke Lambda 2, passing a message in the payload. Finally, Lambda 2 returns a response with the event data. This setup allows for seamless function invocation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can enhance your serverless setup by using the serverless IAM roles per function plugin. This allows you to assign individual IAM roles to each Lambda function. Additionally, by combining this with the serverless pseudo parameters plugin, you can easily reference other Lambda functions within your configuration. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.